Alrighty, welcome back all. Uh, we got a budget orientated, very decent Technus Corner approved PSU for you all today. It's around the 100 Australian dollar mark. So depending on conversion rates and whatnot, maybe 70, 60 bucks in the US if you're lucky on special and whatnot. It's your Asus inspired in search of the incredible. It's a 750 watt power supply, as you guys can tell, and it is bronze rated for 100 Australian dollars. We're already doing quite swell in relation to the market competition at around this price point because this was cherry picked in relation to its price, but also the features and the available, essentially the rails or the cords that it has attachable to the power supply itself. Now, from my understanding, this, what is, well, actually, before we go any further, let's get a, yeah, because essentially there's one commonality, and that is, well, you know where I go with these things, but this is a tough game in 750 watt power supply, otherwise made by Asus, in search of, well, what was it? Here's a word from our sponsor. For those who dare. For Asus Bling Crypto Gucci Bling. Get your mitts ready, people. Up next, well, it's hot. Unleashing the ultimate power, PSU, Republic of Gamers, Asus. Okay, that being said, sorry for the cringe. It has been rehashed, but it's a good time to do so because it's an nice product after all. Now this, the good thing about it in relation to one of its features is it's got a six year warranty and Asus is an established brand. So in relation to that, more than probably going to uphold that warranty where necessary, like Corsa would perhaps and whatnot. So keeping that in mind, that was already a big plus in relation to its competition, which was like two, three, five years tops, six years golden. Well, not golden, bronze in this case, bronze rated. And if we go to the back and the propaganda on the back side, I apologize for the camera. There's a bit of uh, exposure coming in from the light outside and it's playing a bit funny, Dunning. You know, it's got military grade certification. I don't know what that means, but that's what the tough gaming back in the day used to like to specify in relation to itself. It's got axial tech fans with dual ball fan bearings. So that means long, longer lifespan more than likely and the axial nature of it. You have a look over here. They are wider with an in-depth groove that allows for better intake, I believe, of air and whatnot. So that's another thing to look at. And also, essentially, what is going to be in the box, apart from the six-year warranty attached outside of it, protective PCB coating is specified. But with all that said, we're not going to get a chance to open it up. It's not a teardown of this tough gaming 750 watt power supply it's just an unboxing and i'll mention some of the cables which are in here and specifics what you guys should look out for when grabbing something like this if you plan to have it for your build and make sure that you don't need to go and replace it straight away or you've got something a little more substantial for your money's sake where otherwise other brands of this price range may not have the same feature set so let's get into the unboxing Alrighty, so that being said, let's get our trusted, bear with me as I limp over here. Trusted, what is our official unboxing tool of the trade? And we don't go stabby stabby, but some people say twisty is the better way to go as well. In relation to us, all we need is a couple of snips over here, I believe, and maybe one over here for good measure and then we shall go down here and over here so this on the other hand was purchased <coughs> from an online australian uh seller and it's, it's actually the transformer knife guys so i've had a couple of people inquire about it it's i've got a big hand it's 317 grams so it's something to look at if you're after sort of a military grade style of oversized knife that isn't practical whatsoever and it's otherwise known as the decepticon knife Anyway, so that should be enough to get up in. Satisfying, semi-satisfying heel. There'll be 
undertaken here and that should be enough for us to go now note to everyone watch out on the cardboard it almost just cut me up unlike the knife which i had complete control over guys uh keep those out of reach from children obviously Ooh, what is that smell smell it smell it just smell it if you guys are after a bit more of a good for your power supply in the meantime check out the technus corner don't forget to subscribe while you're there and or here for that matter and it will take you there and you can have a look at a thousand watt asus rog strix power supply that we unboxed recently as well but if you're after the budget orientated one we don't discriminate in relation to anything at the texas corner in fact we're a community so uh yeah whatever you're into as long as you're in a pc enthusiast it's all well and good and this is why we are reviewing and or doing just a central overview and unboxing of this budget orientated PSU. So what we have here, greet it with some stickers. That's real cool. Um, they're sort of matty. They got this like they're the proper stickers, you know what I mean? So we'll pop that aside over here. Considering the sticker bomb army over there, it may be a consideration. Certificate of reliability, tough gaming. Mean, that's cool. We'll pop it to the side there, proper gaming, right? And what we've got over here, we shall pull out. We've got two varieties of different power cords and or, yes, I thought it could be an extension lead. So that's cool, I guess, you know, and no, no casing specific in relation to all of this girthier stuff that's attached to it. Oh, I, I apologize. Now, to cut a long story short, this power supply is not modular. It's, I believe, not even semi-modular, but what seems to be a power supply with everything connected up to the PSU. Now, that's not a bad thing in this bracket, especially if you're going for something with a feature-rich set of all the rails that are required to power a computer of this day and age properly, including the CPU, the GPU, your storage devices, and any other peripherals and or, you know, things that may need some power and form. It's got what is essentially, and I'll mention it a couple of times and hopefully we'll verify it when we get into the unboxing further, two EPS rails, 12 volt rails for your CPU, two eight pins that can be converted into four pins as well. So we need six. So a four and an eight. It's got plenty of PCIe cables in relation to your power supply. I believe it should at least have three, hopefully four, okay, but definitely two. But what we needed was enough CPU rails where otherwise some may only have one of those available in this day and age. And that's something to always look out for if your motherboard has more than just a four pin, eight pin, standard probably, if not more than that, a double eight or an extra four as well. So let's have a look, closer look at what is 750 watt Asus tough power power supply. Cool thing about this is if you end up having to use all the cables anyway, the beauty of it is you've got them all attached and you won't lose them in relation to anything, okay? So that's a cool, it's, it's got a girthy, um, probably a reusable zip tie. And if we pull it out here, nothing too pedantic. There is a peel for the t on the tough power logo here which is nice, very nice. It's got a clicky button, that's good. It's got a Tough Gaming logo over here as well. It does have the on switch. More propaganda on the side here as well. Tough Gaming, 750 watt. Uh, no bronze rating, unfortunately, which would be nice to see it somewhere. It is on this side where the Asus logo is as well. And I guess this is the ultimate force also. So plenty of... Uh, catchphrases being run about um we'll pop that aside we'll have a look further what's in the case tough gaming power supply book i mean it's bigger than the manual for a motherboard anyway what you do is you press the on and off switch make sure you know the difference all right so we'll pop that aside there and then checking underneath further still we've got a silica bag okay that's about a half a eight you know i don't know what that means but ask your druggies if you they do and they can translate for that but you don't want to do anything with that as well so pop it back in there for a later date all right now keeping that in mind we've got some tough gaming there's only three i was ex expecting four of these they're, they're getting skimpy velcro bands like zip ties and then we got some extra zipper ties uh fair amount i guess in relation to what's needed for 
better cable management in the case what case speaking of that guys i don't know if you can see it over here that is the view 27 it's called the view 27 produced by thermal tape from yesteryear about 25 26 it's like an aquarium like the hyatt uh, uh or the height should i say the height 60 which has come out well at least it's got a top side side view panel which you know is quite novel in this day and age as well and it was very robust mid tower for its year as well or yesteryear at least uh if you guys are interested check out tech consults episode 8 in relation to that at the technical corner so don't forget to like and subscribe and you know that youtube shit because otherwise i wouldn't exist uh let's double check the cables here that attach well i'm getting sidetracked sorry so fan wise you can see it's quite a girthy fan i understand what the axial exactly means now which is cool components wise you know it's it's heavy tough gaming on that side as well and if we just get just that little bit further in we're going to confirm in relation to what is here also so we've got our atx standardized uh motherboard power here if i elongate these out for a second they're rather long i have to admit okay so what we got here pcie two eight pin slash two eight pins slash six pins we've got one of those i'll try to get all the same ones so we can count through it longer cable here it's definitely the cpu cable okay we start off with i beg your pardon so first things we've got here we've got the standard adx power cable we'll pop that to the side for the motherboard then what we got here cpu one of those eight pins that turns into splits into two fours okay that's one let's see if we can find the other one and here's the other that's what we're talking about that's what you want for a hundred dollars at the bare minimum you want that and the cool thing about these is they're about a meter in length frankly so that's going to get some big boy cases uh filled up now speaking of more power through this power supply what else have we got here we got one two pcie rails which has got essentially a eight pin and an eight pin or a six pin and a six pin and another eight pin and an eight pin or a six pin and a six pin so probably about 600 watts tops for those rails i'd say but keeping that in mind we've got two of them slash four so that is enough that is enough for what your gpus are rated for so remember that because i don't think you're still going to chuck a 4090 on this power supply regardless now speaking of yesteryear and that uh look it's don't knock it especially when you run out of SATA, you just need adapters for these okay and they work really well as molex to sata molex from the yesteryear but we got one two three four of those on one rail instead of splitting them with what is essentially one two three four probably five six seven eight eight sata connections guys for eight up to eight storage devices i guess at the bare minimum there's a couple of things in this build that require additional power uh i believe there's some rgb for the cooler which is not addressable i may try to make it addressable as well but if you guys are interested in that find out where i get that working i like i mentioned earlier tech consults episode 8.0 check it out guys if you're watching this before you're watching that i'll let you in we got a world record officially so number one spot as well legendary status for once in my life so i was very humbled at that moment as well guys so yeah let's uh change this up a little bit thank you for joining me at the technos corner for this quite a hopefully uneventful but informative unboxing of this tough gaming 750 watt psu and yeah budget orientated ticks all the boxes great warranty attached can't complain hopefully we don't have any problems in the utilization of it now when we pop it in what is the view 27 thermal take case from yesteryear with a 1070 and an i7 11 gen 11700ks chip on an msi b 660m mortar motherboard yeah it's been an honor guys 
enjoy the rest of your days don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and peace out bye